Hey, and welcome back to the Designer Home Comfort YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a short one. We're going to go over the cleaning and care of your stressless recliner or leather sofa. So before we get into the cleaning and care of your leather recliner, a couple things to note. Leather is a natural product, so you will see grain variations across the leather. This is not unusual. Over time, leather will develop something called patina, which is the way that the leather wears over time. This gives leather its genuine, authentic look. So if you've ever seen somebody with a leather bomber jacket, where there may be some creases around the arms where people have been moving and flexing or a leather handbag that's been used and worn in this is what gives leather its authentic look now we can prevent some of this premature aging by cleaning and conditioning with the correct products another thing to consider is to make sure that your leather recliner is not near a heat source so if you have a radiator or a vent that blows hot air make sure that your leather recliner is around two feet away from that radiator or vent do not use cosmetics on your leather recliner. Uh, things like hairspray, if you're getting ready, don't do that on top of your recliner. That hairspray can actually damage the leather. Don't use any household cleaners. The only thing you should clean your leather recliner with is with leather cleaner. Uh, if you have a cleaning crew come by your house, make sure that they're aware not to use uh, you know, Clorox or any other household cleaners on your leather recliner. Lastly, if your leather recliner is near a window or if it's anywhere in your house where sunlight may come out, that can actually fade leather over time. In order to prevent the fading, we can condition our leather every six to 12 months and that will reduce the fading of the leather, um, especially in areas that are exposed to uh, or directly exposed to the window. So for example, if the back of this recliner was up against a window, we would want to make sure that this stayed conditioned frequently. If you notice that your leather is hardening and it's not soft anymore, or that it's uh, even worse, cracking, then we are overdue for conditioning your leather. If you regularly condition every six months, this will help us avoid this and keep our leather soft and keep the color looking brand new. With cleaning, I only recommend doing this as needed or when you do your regular house cleaning. So if you clean your house about once a week, you can go ahead and wipe your chair down with this leather cleaner very lightly once a week. Also, uh, for preventative staining, if you spill a little bit of wine on the armrest or something, you want to go ahead and wipe that up immediately before it soaks into the leather. So certainly use the leather cleaner uh, for those two scenarios, or if you just notice your chair is getting dirty. Conditioning or protecting, on the other hand, should be done every six to 12 months. We generally recommend doing it every six months to prevent fading, especially in areas uh, where there is a lot of uh, sunlight or areas that are being used very frequently. So starting with our cleaner right here and our sponge, we're gonna go ahead and soak this sponge with the cleaner. Give that sponge a squeeze, let some of that cleaner soak down into it. Now, I always soak the sponge away from the recliner. So that way, if I do drip, it doesn't drip on the recliner. The reason for that is if you leave water droplets or even cleaner droplets on your leather and you don't wipe it up, it could leave what's called a water stain, which will go away once it evaporates, but will temporarily leave um, a little raised area where that droplet had hit. Um, and obviously we want to avoid that. So once we soak our sponge fairly uh, liberally with the cleaner, we're going to go ahead and just go around the recliner and wide circular motions like this. Now, if you see an area that has some staining or maybe some gunk stuck to it, do not rub aggressively in a very small area. Instead, what we're gonna do, say if we have a speck here, we're gonna go over this entire area and push down with a little bit more force. By doing it over a larger area, we're reducing 
the risk of removing the lacquer by using friction uh, very quickly and heavily in a small area. So by going around the area in a larger motion, and this may take four or five times, especially if you have permanent marker or uh, something a little bit harder to get out, ballpoint pen and permanent marker are two things that are very, very difficult to remove, uh, but do not get aggressive with the removal of it. Go ahead, clean it, let it dry, clean it again, let it dry, and keep repeating that process, and eventually you'll start seeing it fade away. Um, it may take six, seven, eight times, especially if it is something like permanent marker. But we have no stains like that on this, so we're just gonna go through and clean it regularly. So once I've given this a pretty good clean, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, my dry microfiber cloth. Now you can use the provided cloth that Stressless gives you. However, I do recommend upgrading to a microfiber cloth as its longevity is gonna be a bit better. And I'm gonna wipe up any excess cleaning. Making sure I get down into the seams of the recliner as well. We don't want any liquid sitting on our recliner that includes the cleaner as well. So make sure you wipe it up so that it dries. Um, areas that require a little bit more maintenance, a little bit more cleaning are gonna be along here, especially if it's a lighter color recliner like this one and you're wearing blue jeans. The armrest, especially areas where your elbows tend to sit, that's gonna require special attention. And then the headrest here, especially if you're wearing hair product, will need some frequent cleaning. Step two is conditioning. And conditioning, think of it as kind of waxing your car. This is what's preventing the color from fading and keeping the elasticity of the leather looking brand new. So this is an important step, especially if you're in an area where there's a lot of sunlight. Now, while you can use the provided stressless towel like this one right here, I do recommend upgrading to a microfiber cloth. Again, using one that you did not use for uh, wiping off your excess leather cleaner. So I've got two of these towels, one here, one here. I set them both in different areas, knowing which one's for which. So for this purpose, we're gonna use our clean cloth here. Going to open up our leather protection here. And don't, just like the cleaner, don't put this directly onto the chair. You wanna go ahead and put it onto the cloth. I generally put a decent amount, something like that to start out with. Um, kind of work it into the cloth so that way it's not concentrated in one area. And just like uh, waxing a car, we're gonna go around in small circular motions like this. And certainly focus on the areas that get used quite a bit. So uh, along where your legs are going to rest right here, that gets a lot of attention. Especially uh, along the elbows right here. You wanna make sure that you're doing a good job conditioning that area as well. We're gonna go over the entire chair, but um, getting the most amount of conditioner in those areas is going to help us keep our chair looking nice. And the chair swivels, so don't go walking around it. Save yourself the effort. Of course, the armrest. And I get a lot of older recliners coming in, some that are 20, 30 years old. And the areas that I see most distressed are almost always the armrest or the headrest. So it's important to make sure that those areas get special attention. Um, so around the headrest, especially in the middle, making sure you use enough protection on there as well. So just for the sake of keeping this video short, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here. Uh, but you're gonna wanna do this across the entire chair, um, especially if the back faces a window, you're gonna wanna focus on that as well. All right, now that we've gone through our entire chair with the conditioner, we're going to let it set for about 30 minutes. And what you'll see is that some of this conditioner that kind of has a glossy look to it right now, it's still very wet, will start to soak into the leather. Now that it's been about 30 minutes, if you notice that the leather still has kind of a glossy sheen to it, that is a good sign. That means that your leather has absorbed as much conditioner as it can possibly absorb right now. If you notice that it still has a dry feel to it, 
instead of proceeding to this next step, go ahead and recondition the chair again because it likely needs more if it's absorbing that leather uh, conditioner. So next we're gonna take a clean cloth and we're going to wipe off any excess conditioner. Now, once you've wiped off the excess conditioner, allow it to set maybe another 20 minutes before you set in your recliner. Uh, there may be some conditioner still absorbing into the leather. We don't want to get that onto our clothes. But what you're going to find after 20 minutes, once you feel the leather again, it's going to feel a lot softer uh, and more malleable, uh, which is the way we want to keep our leather feeling. If you notice it's starting to harden, that's a good sign that you do need to use that protection, that conditioner on your leather again. So again, we sell these stressless leather care kits on our website. Uh, we sell the larger version, which is the 250 milliliters for $35. Uh, and it comes with the cleaner, conditioner, sponge, and the paper towel. Uh, I do recommend replacing this paper towel with a microfiber cloth um, and use maybe two or three different microfiber cloths. Uh, if you do have uh, access to these mittens, I recommend getting these as well. I think we bought these from Uline. Um, if we're allowed to bulk buy these and resell them, then I'll put them on the website. I wanted to show you guys a good example of why we condition and clean leather. Um, and this is a much older chair. We're looking at probably 20, 24 years old. Uh, the chair you see right here, the uh, headrest has lost some of its pigmentation. Uh, and that's because the lacquer coating from years of usage and cleaning and everything um, has worn down and you can see some of the pigmentation that's still remaining here isn't quite as prevalent in areas of high usage. Um, it's also starting to harden up here at the top. You can see that it almost thins like paper as opposed to say a softer area right here where you see a spider webbing effect when we push down on it with one finger. You see the difference there? This is a good sign that we need to condition, especially the area of the headrest. The reason why we don't allow um, or shouldn't allow pets onto leather furniture, you can see right here, this beautiful green leather has scratch marks or puncture marks all through it from a cat trying to climb up the side and back of that leather. And I'm trying to see if I can get a good shot for you guys here. You can see that. So leather, not puncture proof, especially if uh, cats aren't declawed. Um, dogs are generally a little bit more gentle on leather. However, uh, the best way to deal with it is just not to allow pets on your leather. They can damage it. Um, this also goes for leaving sharp objects in your pockets as well. If you carry like a pocket knife on your um, hip or if you carry um, just a larger belt with some utility, items on it. Uh, take that off before you get onto your chair because that can scratch and damage the leather. Um, and by not conditioning and caring for your leather properly, you can definitely tell that there is some color variation along this recliner here, um, especially when you look at areas like the bottom here, which have been covered by the seat for the most part. It's kind of like a darker green. And then you get up into here and it's starting to fade out a little bit lighter more to a natural hide color. So conditioning will also uh, help prevent that as well. One other last mention is just cleaning the wood. You can just use a regular microfiber towel or maybe even the one you use to wipe off the excess cleaner with to dust off the wood on the ottoman or on the side of the chair. Uh, it doesn't really require any special cleaners. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Maintaining your leather on your stressless recliner is probably one of the only maintenance you need to do for your recliner. These chairs are built to be heirloom furniture, which means you can pass it down generation to generation. And keeping the leather looking brand new is probably one of the hardest parts, especially as your chair ages into its 20s and 30s. So if you keep up with its regular maintenance, you can pass this chair down, making it beautiful and usable. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out with anything that you need. If you're looking for a leather care kit like the one featured in this video, I'll leave a link down in the description where you can purchase that. If you purchased your recliner from us, congratulations. I'm glad you got your recliner in and I hope this video helps you keep your chair looking brand new for as long as possible. If you didn't purchase it from us, congratulations all the same. 
And I hope this video was helpful to anyone who has a brand new stressless recliner or maybe one that they've had for several years. Please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We try to upload weekly videos focused around stressless. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.